Hi everyone, this video is called We Can Always Trust God More and I came up with this idea because in my faith walk I started thinking, you know, could I have trusted God more in the times that I was walking in faith? Was there any kind of fear that kept me from fully walking in faith? Because, you know, each of us is given a measure of faith, but we can get to that place to where we can walk in full faith, as Stephen did. He said, in scripture that Stephen was a man that was full of faith. So, you know, this teaching is more or less for those who have started their faith walk. If you have listened to my videos and I have guided you so far in, you know, depending on God yourself and you're in that process of learning, then I'm praying that this video helps you. And that you won't take my example of possibly not walking in full faith, but instead, you know, not taking my example to where, you know, I didn't fully follow faith, you know, in some circumstances, maybe I let fear dictate, maybe, you know, I, I was trusting in myself more than God, whatever it might be, I want to lead you from that. And for you to step fully out onto the water like Peter did. So if you have started your own faith walk, have you lacked trust? Now I want to give some biblical examples. Elijah trusted God to bring rain, even if it didn't show up right away. He asked his servant to go see if it's you know if the clouds were forming. The servant came back a few times, said no. And then he continued to pray. I mean, if anybody lacked faith, they would have been like, I forget it, I'm not going to do this anymore. But no, he, 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 he stayed in that place of faith, knowing that God was going to do something. So he asked the servant to go once more and look, and then he saw, I see this hand coming out of the, the waters. And so, you know, Elijah, I think it said, once the rain started, he girded up his loins and headed toward King Ahab. And... So that's, you know, the example of faith Elijah had. He, and he trusted God to, you know, stop the rain at the, you know, when God told him, I want you to go to Ahab and tell him there will be no rain except by my word. So, you know, you really have to get into that place to where you're fully, um, you fully have no doubt whatsoever that what you're hearing is of God. And knowing his voice so intimately that you would have no doubt whatsoever. So he knew without a doubt that it was God that was speaking to him. So he got up, went to Ahab and said, there will be no rain except by my word. So <coughs> a lot of trouble and famine started because of that. And so, you know, King Ahab called him a troubler of Israel. So imagine being confident in what you hear or miss here. I mean, Elijah was confident. Look at all the prophets in the Bible, how they were confident in what they heard. He trusted God to bring his meat and bread at the brook once the famine hit. And that's what God did. So imagine sitting there, and you heard from God saying, you know, go to a brook, I'm going to provide bread and meat. Imagine standing there by faith. And then, if you're not sure of what you're hearing, you're like, God, did I really hear you right? But he knew without a doubt that what he heard was of God. And so, behold, the ravens brought his meals to him. And there, there, you know, there's plenty more examples of how he walked in faith. You know, Abraham had a promise of a son that he walked in faith for. And he was willing to sacrifice his promise because he loved God. And he wanted to show his full trust. But then, you know, certain circumstances, before he received Isaac, he lacked faith. You know, his wife Sarah, you know, told him that, you know, I'm never going to have a kid. Go to, here, take Hagar, my servant, and have a child through her. So that lacked faith in what God had promised. And instead of telling his wife, no, no, we're going to stand in faith, he went and proceeded with Hagar to have a child. And so, you know, you know, 
maybe eventually he looked ahead and said, man, if I only didn't lack faith in that, what could I have done to trust God more if I would have waited? So, question, what stops us from fully trusting God? And I have a few areas here. Fear, reputation, and lack of faith. And maybe you're tired of the pressure because you're so comfortable being in that place of not feeling pressure. But, you know, pressure is all a part of trusting God. You know, being in that place to where you're relying on nothing but Him. For example, let's say you have a bill due. You're, you know, your mortgage is due possibly on the first. And you lost your job. And since you lost your job, you have no money coming in whatsoever. And God told you, be patient, I will provide. So, let's say it's the 30th, right? There's 31 days in the month. So, therefore, you have a few days before the first. And God's provision hasn't come yet. Well, you're going to feel the pressure of the, the bill that is due. That's the pressure I'm speaking about. You're not sure if God's going to provide, you're not sure when, you're not sure how, but you can either have one of the two options. You can either let fear make your decisions and think about how to take care of it through your Adamic mindset, or you can push the Adamic mindset to the side and say, God, I'm going to stand in faith. You know my needs, you know, you take care of the sparrows. You know, you take care of all the birds on the ground and all these different animals. You'll take care of me. And he said, we're worth more, much more. So we need to trust God's plan for it and not, you know, what we would pre-plan in our mind. Now, fear in itself can keep us from walking in faith. And that could be detrimental to your faith walk if you allow fear to take over. So you need to tell the enemy to leave, and you need to fight the fear with the faith that God has given you. You know, read scripture of how God has come through. That way it would build up your faith. And if God has provided in the past for you, use that against fear. Say, you know, God, you don't change. You know, you're going to come through for my very needs. Now, another area of fear is repercussions of bills. You know, you, you, you start thinking about what's going to happen if you don't pay your bill. You don't pay your electric. Well, your electric's going to be shut off. It's winter time, and you're going to be cold. You don't want your kids to be catching cold. So you're going to think about how to take care of it. But, you know, that's lacking in faith in God. You need to stand by, continue listening to Him, and stand on His Word. You know, and... You know, really it's committing your desires and your decisions to him. Because he knows your needs better than you do. And your children are his children. You're his child. So he knows how to take care of his children. Now, let's say you're walking in faith and you have, you know, fellow brothers and sisters looking at your situation. Well, you can keep from walking in faith by their judgments. If they're walking according to the ways of the world, they're going to say, well, you shouldn't be walking like that. You should be working. What are you doing Trust in God? So if you listen to their criticism, that can keep you from walking in faith because you're going to fear the approval of man. Now, lacking faith can halt you spiritually. You'll never get to that place of full faith if you lack faith. Because if you doubt God's goodness and his character and what he can do, then you're going to start depending on yourself again. You will only go so far if you lack trust in God. Now, something that God had showed me is, you know, when, you know, we lack faith in God. If we're not walking, trusting God fully, then we can have our hand on the situation ourselves, just to be sure, you know, you know, things are going to go as we hope. So our motives matter. 
You can lack faith and be moved to rely on man rather than God. I think of the example, King Asa was righteous before God, but certain circumstances he lacked faith. For example, King Asa sent his treasures to Ben-Hadad, king of Aram, to get Basha, king of Israel, off his back. And that's in 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verses 2 to 6. Rather than trusting in God to deliver him from Basha, he relied on man. He relied on his wisdom and on his knowledge. And he trusted in man to deliver him. And... You know, Hezekiah showed the opposite of that, where he fully relied on God, and God delivered him. They, he sent his warring angels out to take care of the army to where, you know, the, what was it, the Sennacherib, you know, he was, he went the other direction. So God had delivered Israel. And then David fully relied on God, but somehow he lacked faith, you know, because he wanted Joab to take a census of all the people of Israel, and that's something Joab didn't do. And according to God, he lacked faith because he trusted in his army rather than in God's saving power. So he had sinned against God. So in these examples, you know, we can lack faith in God. So... In these eight examples, I want to spare you from doing such. And, you know, in my past faith walk, you know, in fear, I asked people to pray for me in my hard situation. Why did I do that? Was it because, you know, I wanted people to know of my situation to where maybe God would use them to bless me? You know, instead of fully trusting in God. So it can be easily, we can easily put, you know, man in the place of God to where we rely on man rather than God. So I could have, instead of asking people to pray for me, I mean, sometimes I ask people to pray for me so maybe I could get, you know, like a, you know, some encouragement. But other times, how many times did I do that in order to rely on man rather than God? So... Each of us, no matter who it is, can lack faith. So, if you're new to trusting God, I want to spare you from that. Walk out on the river, uh, walk out on the water like Peter did, and don't lack faith. Trust God fully, because I could have not asked people to pray for me. I could have just maintained in that place to where, you know, I had full trust in God and not even bother asking anyone to pray. So these examples that I have given, you personally, have you lacked faith in God? And in the closing question I want to ask, in what way can you trust God more? So I'm going to end it here. I pray this video has blessed you.